Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Escape entertainment. It seems so simple. We live through so many historical events that another collapse sounds hardly worth an eye roll. As temperatures allow people to cook on sidewalks and literal fires engulf Hawaii, the flaming writers who've wasted their life ruining entertainment for paying customers are as interesting as a tropical storm is to a Floridian. Beta tester, you have made ESG a bad word. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Damn it! Who typed a question mark on the teleprompter? Hispanic people mercilessly laughed the Latinx label out of the room every time the offended on your behalf losers came waddling their fat asses into the room. Latin people made Latinx a bad word. Now, you're seeing that the term ESG is being removed as it has also become a bad word. To be clear, the removal of these terms does not reflect a behind-the-scenes shift in priorities or practices, but it is a recognition of this garbage falling out of favor. Ticked boxes instead of talent, passion, expertise not exactly gonna cut it. So after watching media douse itself in gasoline and then light itself on fire, you'll have to excuse us for not rushing for the nearest fire extinguisher. If anything I'm saying makes sense, like this video. As a Jamaican living in Florida, I'm familiar with the circle of hell a lack of entertainment can plunge society into. The tension I've witnessed brewing for over a decade isn't the type to whistle so you know to take it off the stove, it's the type to clock your ass hard enough to have your nose and asshole whistling before you hit the ground. We could solve so much by allowing tits on YouTube and setting up fundraisers or by taxing the weed, but this country at the moment, in true unintentional fashion, is pushing the people towards educating themselves and I'm pleased that old media has gifted us with the capacity to entertain much better than the people who are paid a lot to do that these days. Or used to be paid a lot, because it looks like some of these assholes are going to be out of a job to a bot. And we kept trying to tell you, we know the value of good entertainment as an escape. Some people, many people, since money's tight these days for all of us and has been as opposed to right now because of your strike, some people, as the Joker says so eloquently, are one bad day away from causing irreparable harm to the lives around them. Think less a stone and water that's casting ripples in every direction. Think more an explosion that's kicking shit up into the atmosphere that should have stayed buried. Things that everybody he's gonna breathe in. I've been patient. And so have you, beta tester. Bang for our buck isn't too much to ask for. But mandating ugly people, by their definition, to be cast in and then push aside the beautiful, passionate, and enthusiastic fan favorites in projects so insufferably woke that you'd think Phoebe Waller dumbass was involved in all of them. This Hag is blaming the fans, the built-in fandom for the thing that it should have just been a slam dunk for. You're taking the tits and the blood out of the slasher, you're taking the dinosaur out of Jurassic Park, and it's their fault for not going to see that and going to pay for it, you moron. This Phoebe entity has single-handedly ruined projects with the grace of a panda on rollerblades, and is eager to smear her face grease and block head all over the James Bond franchise because, you know, if at first girl boss don't succeed, fail, fail again, just replace the first part with like the 50th time because this is so old. 
The whiny, entitled millionaire Rachel Zegler is literally retweeting multiple videos of Lady Gaga expressing the sentiment F men as if to blame sexism or misogyny for the backlash that her stupid mouth brought on herself. No man made you say that the prince is a creep and oh, you, in your empowered girl boss version, all his scenes could get cut. That's Hollywood, baby. Bitch, you said that. The reason Blockbuster v Netflix is so powerful an analogy is because Blockbuster was presented with facts, data, the suggestion and opportunity to change. And they refused to. Just as you refuse to change now, so forfeit. But what makes this collapse so special is the schadenfreude following years of gaslighting and ignorance that came with repelling audiences through a so brain damaged an approach as to attempt to make ugly the new normal and in doing so you have made women unimaginably wealthy from their bedroom and every man on the street can market anything including themselves better than the average industry whack job that's done so many lines that they've confused themselves into thinking that the message is culturally relevant. Escape. Entertainment. It's right there in the name. You were lecturing instead of producing a satisfying product. Now influencers, streamers, cam girls, YouTubers, gamers, nerds can appeal at a glance, more to audiences than you and a team of writers spending over a year could ever hope to. Your failures and AI can and will do this better. And it brings us no shortage of joy to finally have something to get our rocks off to. Last video, I made the mistake of not making it clear what game this was to any interested, and it's an upcoming game called The First Descendant, which has a free beta next month, not sponsored, would love to be, but uh, this is kind of what's on offer when they're going to charge people for things. And I welcome this future, because if the whining from Baldur's Gate is any indication, the flailing that we should expect from the lazy gender and race swap people could reach Hogwarts legacy levels. The DEI ESG woke soaked garbage cannot compete with actual YouTube channels. And this is exactly what's going to dominate moving forward. You, your tastes, what you like, regardless of what they try to hide, this is what the future is now. Like this video and let me stay a part of your future, especially with how nice some of them chests are. My god, my god. Thank you for listening. Thank you for educating yourself. And thank you for recognizing your power. In the same way you push this video up in the way of visibility, you can decide what doesn't get to continue by not funding it. To the patrons, sponsors, supporters, I love you. To those of you watching and liking, I love you. Anil, shout out. Love you, man. And, you know, I'm looking at all of your comments. So tell me what you'd like to see in the future. And I'm definitely willing to give you anything that you're looking for.